the template manager. You need to take control over the look and feel of the default website by customizing ASCX and CSS files in conjunction with the functionality available to you in the template manager. The template manager is not intended to be a design wizard. Functions that are performed in the template manager have a global effect and can update existing pages. Essentially, there are default containers in the supplied default templates, which can be populated with modules as required within the Template Manager. To create a template, simply locate the Templates window from the Contegro Start button. Select an existing template file. You are essentially making a duplicate. Type a name, description and CSS location. I'm going to select an option to copy both containers and modules so that my template will instantly replicate the same functionality as other templates. Choose containers only if you want to set up a template with different modules. A new template and corresponding ASCX file has been generated. I'm going to save down the new ASCX file through FTP, then add another piece of container code and then send it back to the server. Please see the video on template design for details on updating or adding containers. After changes made to the AXCX file, you should open the template manager to check the result. You will see the new adverts container reflected in the template manager. You can also create your own AXCX file and FTP it to the templates folder. The Template Manager will automatically scan the Templates folder for any new files. Checking through the modules, I'm going to make a few alterations. Clicking the icon on the right of the container will add two new banner modules. Then we'll move it by using the arrows. Locking the module from being accidentally deleted is a great function for individual modules such as navigation and search modules. I can also lock the whole container, indicated by the red cross, so that my client cannot remove any modules I don't want them to. For this container I will allow my client to add modules, but not delete them. Deleting a module is not reversible. This action will unlink it from the database. If you then add the same module back in, the new module will be a different instance. I will show you how this functions on our default site. If a banner module is deleted from an existing template from within the Template Manager, the instance of the banner module is removed from the template when you click Save. If any pages are affected, a warning message will show. Generally, you would click Save, but if you click Cancel, your changes will not be reflected throughout the site. This action will cause the banner module to be unlinked from the template. The module will still exist on the page and be treated as an individual module at page level. Also remember that the deleted module will not show in any new pages created with this template. So generally you would click Save Template to update existing pages. However you can at this stage choose to individually not update certain pages by unticking the checkboxes. You may choose to do this for pages such as landing pages or shopping cart pages where the layout of the page is crucial. You will see that in our default site, pages that have the two column template are now missing the banner module that contained the logo. Changes performed in the template manager cannot be undone. If you have made a mistake like removing the logo like I have done here, you need to add another banner module in, update the settings again and save the template. This will reinstate my banner 